So hello everybody, welcome to Kerbal Data Labs. In this data lab, we're actually going to do it live. We're going to create a peacock chart. So I'm going to show you. This is, let me share my screen. Um, that one. So you can see what exactly we're going to create. So this is a Makeover Monday 2018 week five. And Pablo Gomez, created these for showing how much money big companies make in a second. And I loved it. And it's actually something that you can do in particular using the peacock chart, they call it. So I'm going to show you how to do it live. It's actually super easy. So the first thing that we're, you're going to do is obviously open Power BI. And uh, we are going to use the data world connector that Power BI has in order to create this. So we're going to get data and uh, data dot world you get it here connect and continue sure uh, what you need to put in there is makeover monday and then you need to put the name of the data set which is this one so go back to power bi the data set ID is that one. The owner is make over Monday, right? That's all you need to do. So you click OK, and you will get the data from uh, that specific data set. Uh, in Power Query first, so we go there, transform data. And uh, we're going to call it, because I'm making a lot of these Makeover Mondays just for practice for me to learn data visualization. I give them the name of the Makeover Monday that they are, they belong to. Also, if I'm sharing them online, I want to be sure to credit the correct person. So, so yeah. So what we have here is we have the name of the company. We have the industry. You have the net income 2016. You have the... Uh, ranking for the Fortune 500 list, and then the profit per second. So we're going to close and apply and put this thing in. So apologies for the um, sound. My microphone is just not working at the moment. So what we're going to do now, I always go to get visuals, get more visuals, and chart, uh, um, upload the chart clear again, because they changing so often that you never know what the latest one is. So how about uploading a new version every time just to make sure that we're always working on the latest one. They are making so many changes, important changes still, that I really recommend you to do it. There should be a pop-up saying, there's, see, there's a new version coming. Okay, so um, what you're going to do is open the chart articulator and put the fields in that we need. We're going to start with company and uh, net income. Once you have that, you go to edit, create chart. And let's start doing some magic. OK, so first of all, the mark. What is the mark? The mark is the element that makes up the visual. In our case, you can see that it's this thing. We don't have the exact same shape, but we have something quite similar. So if you go to marks and just drop the mark, they have the possibility to change the type. So the shape we're going to pick is an ellipse. And we're going to have the height is going to be what makes it, um, what represents the data. So we're going to put the height in there. And then you start start looking something like what we want. We need to sort it, right? Mm, where do I sort it? Uh, sort by, there you go. So as you can see on the visualization, it was a round, you can see here, it was round, right? So we need to use a round scaffold is called. So you go here to the polar one and then you drop it in. And it's starting to look fairly similar, doesn't it? So we want to actually sort it the other way around. Something that it was very cleverly done, and that's one of the things that I'm learning when I'm doing this Makeover Mondays remakes, is that, let me show you. So when he did this visualization, you know, Chart Articulator, probably his tool, has the highest 
on the on the top of the axis, if you would say so. But he actually changed that and he moved it a little bit. So you have it like, you know, the, the highest value is on the horizontal axis. And the reason for that, which I think is very cleverly done, is that when you put text on it, you can actually easier read it than if you have everything like that. You will have to like bend, bend your head quite a lot in order to be able to read it. So it was very, very cool done. So we can actually do the exact same thing in chart here. You can move where the start of the chart actually is. You can see that it's fairly simple. You could actually move it a little bit more if you want to have it exactly that. I don't mind. Now, if you now save these, you are going to see that it's very, very, very small. And there isn't a good way to actually make this big other than I'm going to show you going to show you, especially because this has such a special shape, you have to do a little bit of weird stuff. So we're going to create some guides. We're going to do a wide guide there, another one there, and then we're going to do one there and one there. Guides are used to fix elements to them because you cannot just put elements in, in you know, out of the, anywhere on the canvas, you, you have to have a specific place for them. And the guides help you with that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to move this plot segment to our new, um, to attach it to the guides that we created. And now you can see that if I move the guides, it just moves. I'll show you. So if I move these here, um, a little bit more. Oh, no, 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 sorry. If you move the guide, remember, it has to be attached to the guide, otherwise it will not work. And then you can do it a little bit smaller if you see that, ooh, it was a little bit too big. How about something like that? A little bit bigger. Then we will need some space for the text, right? So, see? Back. something like that. You probably would like to have it a little bit bigger, but you know now you know how to do it, how to play around it, how to actually focus it on what you want to focus. Um, the next thing that we're going to do is color it. So to color it, you have, what you want to color, you always have to think about what are you doing the changes on and select it first. So you want to change the color of the elements. And the elements are these shapes here. So you need to pick the shape. And then you want to color by the uh, income, not the visibility, sorry. <laughs> you want to color it there by the income. And it always picks um, the black and white shade, but you can actually change it to anything that you like. For example, like that. Um, looks quite pretty, doesn't it? The next thing that we're going to do is to add the text. Um, so to add the text, you add the text to the marks or the glyphs. You want to add text to each of these individual things. So you select it. You see that when I click there, it's select there. If you want to click on here, it will pick that, and then you will have to zoom up. Okay? So it depends on what you pick. Uh, it will be bigger or smaller. It doesn't really matter. So we're going to put our text in there. We're going to rotate it a little bit. And then I'm going to move it all the way to the corner, to the upper corner, and back it up a little bit so you, you can actually see it. And then I'm going to add company to the text. So you can see that it gets all the companies there. Boom, 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 boom. Quite pretty, isn't it? Now, it gets very, very, very crowded. You can read them, but you know, at some point you have to think about your audience also. Like how many companies are they actually going to bother to, to look at? So he very cleverly did just show the first five. You could choose whatever you want, but he chose the first five, which I think is fair enough. I mean, you, you start reading and at some point it's like, I don't care, Apple is the biggest one, right? So um, we're going to do the same. Now, I thought that I could pick the Fortune 500 um, company let's see, uh, ranking in order to be able to show the first five, but the number one Fortune 500 in 2016, it was actually Walmart, it was not Apple. 
Um, and it does not help us in our ranking because this is going to be one, two, three, four, five. So what we need to do is to create a rank based on um, based on net income, right? So I'm going to put a new net income, and then we're going to do a little bit of DAX just to be able to do that ranking. So we're going to do rank uh, revenue income, sorry. And then we're going to do rank X for all week five for the entire table. Calculate. And the reason why I'm using calculate is because I don't have a measure for the income. So you have to add calculate. So put it in there, put it in there and then rank the income and you will see that apples go apple come first one two three four five blah, blah, blah. so perfect that's what we need so now we're going to add the income to our visualization and look at that so to hide things that you don't want to see again what do you want to hide you want to have text so you click on text and then there's this visibility button. So you just put the rank income in there and you say that if it is um, less than or equal to five, show it. And you can see that it shows only those, exactly what we wanted, beautiful. Now you go to text, attributes, let's get like, I don't know, something more impactful I'm not sure it's too easy to read okay so you can <laughs> you can list as so much time as you want doing this i mean it can get very painful when it comes to design um you can yeah you know you could you can go crazy actually changing uh, things around just small details and it makes such a big difference so ugh. but Let's be practical. Okay, so now this is looking more like our initial charts. What we are missing is the Apple logo. Well, he had, I think he had logos. No, he had just the Apple logo. Good. So I do have the Apple logo. Just a second. Um, let me go up here. So I have a chart later, makeover Monday, and there I have the logo. Yeah, okay. So to put the logo in, you go to edit, and then you need to add uh, this icon, I think. You can either drop it or point it out where you want to have it there. And then you just want to have it visible on the first one. So you're going to use the exact same thing that, let me make this smaller, the icon. Uh, so here is where you drop, you can drop the image, cool. Let me, how cool is that? Okay, visualizations rank. We just want to see where is value is equal to one. Oh, yeah, okay. So what happens is that if you drop the same column into vis visibility more than once for different elements, it will apply to all. So you can't do that. So we need to go back to text, delete that, and then do it again. So you drop rank income and this is going to be greater than equal to five <laughs> smaller less than yeah there you go okay cool and for the icon you need to shift drop so it creates a new condition otherwise it will reuse the condition which is not what we want one to one okay and now we're going to where is my icon 
I want to move the icon to there and a little bit there. Okay, cool. Save. And there you have it. So this is the chart. You can actually make it a little bit more dramatic if you want by making this uh, the inner angle a bit smaller. Uh, so you can make these a little bit smaller so it gets like more. So, so see, back. And there you have it. Really, really cool. And then obviously, you can, um, let me show you, you can go and do the rest of the stuff, right? To put the title, to put the note, this is the Apple makes, Apple makes made in 2016 a profit of $1,445 per second. Probably it's a lot higher now. It's insane. It's insane. Anyhow, I hope that this was useful for you. I hope you enjoy the live stream. Do you want me to do more of these live? Just um, let me know so I can actually uh, do more Charticulator live. I think that's probably the easiest way that I will get things done with Charticulator. I'm like crazy busy at the moment. So let me know. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you make it and I'll see you again very, very soon.